Oh, got him? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got a tournament today on Leesville Lake. We're going to be going up here and trying our luck and seeing if we can put something together and maybe win one of these things or at least place good. I don't know. I'd be happy if I, I'd be happy if I catch a limit to be honest with you the way my fish has been here lately. So uh, the weather has been kind of crazy here in Virginia. I mean we're talking 52 degrees. We're talking rain. We're talking snow. We're talking sleet. Yep. Sleet snow 52 degrees it's the craziest look it's the craziest stuff coming over the mountain and uh, but a lot of times by the time it gets here it's you know by the time it hits the ground it's it's, it's rain or whatever but last night it was sleeting so it's and it was like 40 it's like 45 last night something like that so anyways I, I don't know what the vision is gonna be like the wind has been brutal for the last three days of anywhere between 30 to 40 mile an hour winds so like you say this is this is gonna be a free-for-all for me I had no practice time on this lake I don't I don't know what where they're at and you know like yeah I know it's all pre-spawn but like I don't know if you know, I don't know what the bar temperature they are I don't know if they're gonna be close to spawning here um Leesville Lake is if y'all seen I don't know if I've seen in the other videos I mean is this lake fluctuates a lot like it, it, it within feet but it, it can be it can be a tough tough lake to fish so we're just gonna see how it goes today and, and hopefully we can put something together and go from there that's all we can do so um, but this lake is always kind of behind Smith Mountain Lake you know that this lake dumps into Smith it's kind of a holding pond for Smith I guess so sometimes the water temperatures are a little cooler than Smith um, this time of the year so that it's only like a I always say it's like a week or so behind Smith, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, we're not far from the lake. Jump off here, and we'll see you guys on the water. Good luck, bud. I've been working on that dude for a while. <laughs> here from it. Uh, we're right. Is it say in the industry? We're right there. Uh, he's right there at it. I ain't gonna measure too many fish right that way until we get a limit or so. Yeah. <laughs> so you do the limit. <laughs> oh, we'll get it. We'll both catch them today. Heck yeah, little guy, but so what you can do is with these, yeah. sometimes I'll take the magnet thing where shit, it'll probably sling out actually. So I'll take one hook and I'll bend it up just a little bit and then you just shove it in there and it helps. 
It helps hold it. No, that'll work. You got stuff like that, but they rejected the Chuck Woolery lures. <laughs> rejected the shit out of them. I don't even think they make them anymore. I wish I had a bottle in the one that was out just to have it. Oh, yeah, just to be a. Well, yeah, he's where he had the frog. His mom bought it for him. He said he used it a couple times. He didn't catch nothing off of it. Because I thought you had to wind them up. He says, no, they got the little string on them. And when you throw it out there, I guess the force of the thing pulls the string out. And as you're reeling it in, it kind of the little string that you tie your little line to uh -huh. winds itself in as the, the frog does its motion or whatever. As good as I thought he was, he's a good one though. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Point two one. All right, yeah. <laughs> I won nothing. Might be able to get them jigging around all day today. Yeah. Jigging pig boy. Two two. An old missile mini flip there. Pike mini flip. Kayak, you could. You could probably go way the hill back there in a kayak. Oh, yeah. End up in Alta Vista somewhere. Alta Vista, baby!
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a uh, it was a tough day. It was it was super windy, and to be honest with you, I just totally missed the ball and everything. I feel like I should have thrown a shaky head a little bit more. Uh, actually, I should have thrown a shaky head. Period. I didn't even throw it at all. Uh, I flipped the jig around for a little while. That's what I caught the uh, two pounder on, and then I caught a couple off that dock. Um, I turned deeper water in like 20, 25 foot of water. So. I just could not, I just could not put it together and I'm struggling this spring to put anything together because normally this is like my good time. This is when I normally like to really get out there and catch some big, big fish and kind of be able to get on and pattern a little bit more. And it's on struggle bus this year and you know, we go through that. I've been, I guess I've been on that for the last two years until uh, summertime hits. So we're just going to ride the struggle bus for a little while and hopefully get on to something here soon. But uh, ain't out today. It, they call for some really bad storms and uh, bad winds and all that stuff. So we're not going to make it out today. I might go out Saturday uh, with my son and uh, my nephew and just take them out and do some fishing. The fish are really close. Actually, I hear some are on beds, but the fish are getting close to being on beds. So uh, we might be doing some of that. And um, I don't know. I don't know what we'll be throwing some Cinco's around all that stuff. So uh, just plan on getting the kids out this weekend and maybe go out a little bit at Sunday. I'm not sure after church, but so to see. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't do a lot of talking in it. It's like when you get in tournament time, it just, the camera, you really don't think about it as much. I need to focus on that just a little bit more. Uh, the other camera I couldn't have going because I forgot the memory card and left it uh, beside the computer. So that's where we're at on that. But, <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We are only like 145 subscribers away from hitting a thousand subscribers, um, which is awesome. And I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys that have subscribed or at least watch our videos. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. So um, on that, we'll talk to you later, guys. See ya.